Smartphones Addiction and Its Harmful Effect on Children Hello friends, today we will discuss about mobile addiction and its harmful effects. How does it start? We as a parent are the main culprit. We are the one who give mobile phones to our children. Because, what we see most of the parent are working or earning for their livelihood. Parents are busy. They hardly have any energy left when they reach home. So, it's very easy for them to give mobile to their child. As children find mobile more entertaining than any other things. Parents are offering mobile during mealtime, nighttime and in the evening too. It starts with half an hour then reaches up to 7 to 8 hours a day till the times it becomes an addiction. Though the utility of smartphones cannot be debated, continued use and exposure can have harmful effects on the child. There are many potential health risks to mental and physical well-being related to overuse of cell phones. 1. Tumors. We don't mean to scare you with this information, but it is good to know that studies suggest a possible increased risk of tumors for those who use cell phones excessively. There is limited evidence that tumors are caused due to cell phone radiation, but as a parent, you may want to limit the time your kids use phones to avoid any other possible risks. 2. Affects brain activity. Studies suggest that the human brain is sensitive to electromagnetic radiation. Mobile phones primarily function on electromagnetic waves for all forms of communication. What could possibly affect the brain is the content the child is exposed to and the screen time. Therefore, it is imperative for parents to control or limit screen time. Ensure children have access to only certain programs, games, etc. that are suitable for their age. 3. Academic performance. Many children carry phones along with them to their schools. Chatting with friends or playing games during school breaks, or even in the class, is increasing day by day. This results in children failing to pay attention in the class, missing out on important lessons, and consequently, being clueless about studies and examinations. 4. Academic malpractices. Smartphones not only distract children from studies but may also be their tool of malpractices to score well in exams. Using the inbuilt calculator in exams where it isn't allowed, storing photographs or reference information to cheat in the examination, or even exchanging answers with other students. 5. Inappropriate media. Like any other gadget, the mobile phone is also a tool and can be used for wrong purposes. Kids could come across inappropriate messages, images, or texts shared by their friends or in the group. And further pass it on to others. They can find their way to pornography at an early age, changing their perceptions and thought process. Even exchanging images of their own, irresponsibly. These all can create a fiasco that impacts their lives for a long time. 6. Sleep Disruption. Children may stay up late talking to friends, playing games, or scrolling through social media, which over a period of time, causes fatigue and restlessness. It also disrupts academic life, as kids are too sleepy to concentrate on what is taught in school. Hence, it has a domino effect that seeps into all walks of their lives. 7. Mental health. Children on social media may come in contact with cyber bullies who harass and bully them over the internet. Many children who have been cyber bullied may only admit their experience much later in life when the mental damage has already been done. Social media may also induce depression and anxiety when the kids are not given the online attention they expect. Let's see the safety tips to decrease the risk of smartphones in children. Smartphone safety tips to decrease the risk. 1. As a general practice, avoid giving cell phones to children under the age of 16. You may stay in touch with the teachers and school staff to ensure your child's safety and health if needed. 2. If you are worried about the radiation, you may make your child wear a wired headset or limit his talk time when he talks on the phone, instead of holding it to the ear. 3. Avoid constantly giving your child your mobile phone when he is in the middle of an activity as it will only distract him or lead to falls and injuries. 4. As an adult, it is important for parents and other people in the house to restrict their use of phones when they are around children. 5. 
Keep your mobile phone safely with you and out of sight of your kids at night. Children may quietly try to get a hold of it, without you finding out. As with every technology or tool out there, a mobile phone is a double-edged sword. The technological powers of the smartphone is tremendous, and it is quite a learning tool for children as well. However, keeping things in moderation and restricting usage hours goes a long way in ensuring children's well-being and inculcating good behavioral habits in them. Thank you for watching.